Okay, guys, we got this 2012 uh, Mini Cooper. I think it's a 2012. They said it don't start. Um, I tried starting it. It is manual. Um, when I scanned it, we had this code present: high pressure fuel, high pressure fuel system plausibility, cold start pressure too low. So let's go back. Let's go into this. We'll look at our pressure while I crank it because I tried cranking it and. Um, what do we want? I guess we want low and high. Can we, we could just look at low first. Okay, so low says 98.63. So let's try cranking this and see what happens here. Because it tries to start. You can hear it. Okay, so let's go back. Let's look at our high pressure. Oh, look at that. Rail pressure. So we're never going to get it to start with 21 PSI. Hmm. That's making me wonder if our low pressure is reading right. It says we got fuel, but I don't think we have any fuel coming up. Um... Maybe we can, uh, maybe we can, uh, maybe we can, uh, check our fuel pressure here. Guys, I took our fuel line off and nothing. It's completely dry in there. Um, let me get my fuel volume tester and we'll test this real quick. Okay, guys, I got my fuel volume tester here, so let's see if anything comes up into it. Let's see. We won't be able to... Let's see. Yeah. We got nothing, guys. There's nothing in there. Um, let's see, can we set this out facing outside the hood? Let's see if I can rearrange this. I might have made it colder. I might have. Set this outside the hood without scratching anything. Let's see. There we go. Now we might be able to see something. Um, might be able to put you guys on this. Let's see if anything comes up. We have no fuel pump. Looks like we have no fuel pump. There's no fuel in there. Um, let's see. So we're gonna have to. Uh, they have the back seat off too. So uh, maybe we can check this fuel pump, or maybe we can check the uh, active test injection system in general. Check fuel pump only with engine off. We get anything? Nothing. I opened that valve up. I hear the fuel pump relay clicking. We have nothing. Nothing up there. Um, let's see how to get this fuel pump. Let me look up a wiring diagram real quick. Deactivate this while this is off. So right here we're on our uh, white and blue. Headlight bulbs going to ground, and if we crank this, we get no light, so we can't get it to light up. Um, we try going in here and turning this on again. I don't know if it'll turn on. Oh, I just heard a click, so we got no power back here. So let's uh check our fuse, see where that fuse is at. Hey guys, so here's our fuse panel. Um, hang on, my ground came off. Oh, technical difficulties with these. There we go. Let's see if that's enough. Oh, I don't have enough room here. Uh, do we have another good ground that we can go to? Maybe a door bolt or something? Let me try going to door bolt. Let's see. 
Hopefully that's enough. Let's see, 46. So 46 has power. So we're just not getting power. 46 says fuel pump. So we're not getting power through our relay. We need to figure out where that relay's at. Now, because we got ground going to the door jam. Yeah. But we don't have ground on our door striker. Okay, guys, so I found an all data. Mitchell didn't have this X4013. This is our connector right here. This should be our. Is this on the back side? Where's this at? This says it's underneath the hood. Um, but our other one, it doesn't seem right. Because if we go into Pro Demand, it says. Oh, I looked at the wrong one. We want X11. Seven. No, not that at Maddox. It's X11010. Eight, nine, ten. <laughs> X. In seven, eight, nine, ten. One, one, zero. Really, Maddox? <laughs> really? Really? Are you helping today? Uh, are you helping? No. Or are you just eating all the donuts? It's one one zero one zero. Okay, Maddox. The people are not gonna like this. Okay, here we go. This looks better. So X one one zero one zero is down here. So we should be able to light our light using a power probe. So we gotta look for our white and blue wire down there at the fuse box. So I found our wire down here. Right there's our wire, blue and or white and blue. Put the power probe in here. Put the power probe in here. Add power. Our headlight bulb back here lights. If I turn the power probe off, it turns off. So we're gonna get that connected back in. Okay guys, so we'll add this on here. We'll listen to see if our see if our pump turns on. I heard it. You hear it? Listen to that. You can hear it pumping. We don't have fuel pressure though. Why don't we have fuel pressure? That's weird. We're pumping, but no fuel pressure. Unless this is the re unless there's a return side. Let's see. Okay, so maybe this is like a return. Oh, that's a vacuum line. I think that's a vacuum pump. That wasn't the, that's the vacuum pump for the brake booster. What is this? That's on the wrong line. That's why. I thought that was fuel. I thought it was weird that it had like plastic fittings like that. <laughs> okay, guys, so it actually runs pretty good. I can't believe I hooked up to the vacuum pump. I completely missed that. Uh, Let's go back. Let's go to live data. Low pressure fuel system. It's like we're still being powered off my power probe. So there we go. It still says. Oh, uh, maybe we gotta command that with the car off. Because it says electronic pump activation 20 seconds read pressure, low pressure value. So I don't know, maybe maybe the data pit don't work, I don't know. So there we go. We're at uh, 1100, we raise the RPM. Look at that. So I hope you guys like this, it needs a junction box. So if you get the junction box, I'll post an update. See you guys later. 
Okay guys, so we got the fuse box from the Mini. Um, I think it was a 12 or 11 Mini um, Cooper. And I took the two screws out in the back already. Um, we're going to see if we can uh, fix this thing. Because remember, our relay wasn't turning on. And our relay is actually internal. I didn't realize that. Um, so we're going to have to... I didn't see any broken solder joints here, so we're going to um, cut all these solder points and all these pins like we did on the other video. I don't know if I released it yet or not. And we're going to check to see if any of the solder joints cracked underneath on the board. Okay guys, so um, I, uh, I desolder, well I didn't desolder, I cut all the pins like I did on my last one because I tried to removing these even with like big hot tweezers at like 900 degrees. It's just not enough to melt it, I mean to remove it so. Um, there's our relay. I know most of the time you can just resolder these so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I don't have another relay for it but you can see the joint is broke right there. There you go. I don't think it got hot. I don't know why they crack. Maybe it could be heat. I don't know. It's just weird that it just gets cracked like that. And it's only ever that relay that I know of. So I'm going to resolder this and then we should be good to go. There you go, guys. Got it resoldered. Um, should be good to go now. I think that's flux in there. Let me set this out real quick. Turn this back on and we'll heat this back up. There we go. Set this warm up real quick. Warmed up? Yep, we're warmed up. Let's see. Yeah, I think we're good to go. Look at that. There we go. So we'll get this back together and we should be done. Okay guys, so I soldered all the pins around the outside. Both sides of this. See, they're all soldered. So we'll get this back together and then um, should be good to go.